And the Democratic National Committee says that it has invested an historic eight figures in paid media ahead of Election Day. That it's a big chunk of money, and it's been targeted at black and Latino voters specifically. So joining us now for more on this is Brad Woodhouse. He is senior advisor for the DNC. Brad, good to see you. Happy Election Day. Um, so that is a whole lot of money. That's a whole lot of money. <laughs> what has it gotten you? Well, look, what I think it has gotten us here at this 11th hour, while people are still voting, go vote, stand in line, what I think has gotten us is a toss-up race. Um, and no one predicted that uh, six months ago. No one predicted uh, that Democrats would be in toss-up race category, in governor's races, House races, uh, Senate races. The assumption was that the winds were blowing uh, against us and that Republicans would sweep everything, get 60 or 70 uh, vote margin in the House, win tons of Senate uh, seats. And today, we're competitive, we're in this race, and it's because this election changed. It changed from what they were hoping, a referendum on the incumbent party and the incumbent president, and now it's choice uh, between a party and a president that want to continue to invest and strengthen Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, uh, the Affordable Care Act, and uh, protect a woman's right to choose and pass a uh, law to codify Roe v. Wade versus a party uh, that wants to ban abortion nationwide and wants to cut or dismantle Medicare, Social Security, the Affordable Care Act, yeah, I want, uh, and, and I want to ask you. I want to ask you a little bit more about that messaging. I mean, we did see in June the momentum started to shift towards Democrats in the wake of that decision on Roe. But Democrats have come under some scrutiny for perhaps focusing too much on that issue when voters are saying time and again that inflation, and the economy, are number one. Uh, do you think that the issue of abortion is still resonating enough to help make the difference in some of these races, or do you see it as as simply a base mobilizer? Look, I think it's resonating. I think we're seeing uh, in the exit polls that have been reported that it is up there. It's not the number one, uh, it's not the number one issue. But let, let's just be honest. Democrats believe that a woman's right to choose is fundamental, that it is absolutely a fundamental value. And it was, uh, it was considered by the Supreme Court for 50 years, uh, a constitutional uh, right. So it's not like that we as Democrats could say, okay, women and, and women and girls and people that are concerned about this issue, you've got to wait your turn. We had a devastating decision at the Supreme Court. We Republicans supported that. They cheered it. They're out all across the country trying to ban abortion or cut it, you know, to six weeks or five weeks or no weeks. We had to prosecute that issue. It's fundamental to our party. But we have been talking about uh, the economy. And, and of course, inflation is too high. But the only party that's done anything to address inflation in the last two years is the Democratic Party. We passed the Inflation Reduction Act without a single Republican vote that is lowering the cost of prescription drugs for seniors, lowering, lowering energy costs. So did we get a fair hearing? I don't know. We'll find out mm -hmm. uh, in a few hours. Right. But uh, I think All we had right. to do we both. Will. I think we did. Well, we will see the answer to some of those races in a few hours, as you say, and perhaps later on this week as well as results come in. Brad Woodhouse, thank you. Great. Thank you.